Hello, I'm David Fulgham with Fulgham Tree Preservation. I'm an urban forester and our company provides urban forestry consulting. Right now, I'd like to show you a scenario where water has been impacting a tree's root system and is causing some root decline. What you're viewing right now is the results of a ground penetrating radar scan that we did to map the roots and map the trunk. Just to give you a little bit of background, currently there is a, a drain parallel to the road. We've got a road, a driveway, this is a sidewalk, and there's a house here. Right now there's a four inch solid PVC pipe underground, about eight inches deep and it ties into this 12 inch drain box. Currently this drain box is only collecting surface water and there's no French drain in the area. You'll see these, these several offshoots and that's we are proposing that they install these in this area to collect some of the water that's uh, collecting in that area. So I'd like, to, I'd like to show you a little bit of the data that we saw from the, the ground penetrating radar scan and uh, show you some photos and just give you a little background. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you out of this shoot and bring you into some photos right now. They're gonna be from about this angle. So I'm gonna let you go and bring you right back in in just a second. All right, I'd like to bring you back in and show you some, some photos and give you a little background on this property. We've got a, a water oak right here and th these photos were taken in late late summer of 2022. It's near a road, there's a driveway, a house, sidewalk. This property was, uh, there was some landscaping done several years back and there was a drain box put in right here near the road in, the, in a solid four inch PVC pipe that was installed parallel with the road. Looking a little closer at this drain box, during the summer, there, there it is, 12 inch drain box, and it's just really wet in this area. The moisture content was, was pretty high right around it. And here, this picture was taken in January of this year, 2023. And this just really shows how the ex excess moisture is kind of impacting that, that area. So I probed, I probed this soil to check the moisture I use a, a half inch stainless steel soil probe. Uh, that three, they're three feet long with a one foot handle on it. That, that's a photo of my soil probe. And that, that's my coring tool that I have on it to pull soil profiles. But this is my soil probe. So I was checking soil moisture around this tree. And on this side of the tree between the house and the tree, I was probing maybe six inches deep consistently in this area. But when I'd go between the tree and the road, I was consistently going about two feet deep in that area due to the, the heavy moisture. And just a quick shot showing from a different angle. This is the day I actually did the scans. All those flags mark my scan lines. I did circle scans starting four feet away from the trunk and, and then each one was done every two feet. So four feet, six feet, eight feet, 10 feet, 12 feet, and so on. So just as an overview of the trees, I, I now wanna go in and show you some of the data that we collected with the GPR. Okay, so bring you, bring you into the data. This, this shows all of the root detections that the GPR picked up on our root scans. Each one of these circles rep, rep, represents one of the scan lines, and each one of these marks on the scan line represent a root detection. You'll see there's three different colors, red, green, and blue, and those represent different uh, zones of depth. Moving on, uh, just another one that, that not only shows the top-down root detection map, but also root density. If you look down here, you know, blue being zero all the way up to to a uh, 5.5, meaning more root detections in these areas. So we've got we've got a high root detection density in, in a few spots, and then over here in the wet area, we saw a big drop off. And you can tell 
there's a lot deeper roots in this area. Just another overview map. This shows zone one, two, and three. Zone one, which is in the top eight inches of the soil, near the soil surface, showed a somewhat more of an even distribution of roots. There was a drop off in roots in this area where there's a excess soil moisture, but we still had some roots in the top eight inches. When you went down to a deeper depth of zone two, which was eight to 16 inches, we had a drop off in that area of roots. And then when we went even deeper at zone three, which is below 16 inches, we saw a big drop off in root density on, on the side of the tree where there's moisture. It's my opinion that there's probably lower oxygen content below eight inches. And that's why we saw a big drop off there due to the soil moisture. And this just shows a root morphology map that's generated by the, by the software. As you can see, there's a lot less density on this side. Moving on, uh, we also did trunk scans on the tree. And this just shows two, two different zones. This meaning a solid zone and the orange being a compromised zone. Our software will, will have a uh, threshold that it that it assigns between solid and compromised wood. And so this tree didn't meet any thresholds there. And everything was was predicted as solid. This is another uh, trunk, a different view of the trunk scan where it shows wood density. The browner the areas mean a, a, a more solid wood density, a, a stronger wood density. And when you move into some other colors, it, it gets a little weaker. This tree had some you know, weaker spots in it, but nothing, nothing of concern. This just shows the trunk skin around the radar gram. Another overview of all four of the trunk scans that we did. And some more from Height 1. Just show, that's the B scan showing what was detected by the radar. Height 2. Height 3. And 4. I'm going to take you back into some 3D models just to kind of do a quick review looking at the at the density in this area. As we rotate towards the street, we can see a big drop off right here, right in this area. It's where a lot of the moisture is collecting. And so we're able to, to not base a lot of our conclusions on assumptions as much as when we when we've got some data that we can look at that that really correlates with what we're seeing. It helps it helps give us more confidence in our opinions. So please if if we can help you in any way, please uh, visit our website fulgemsinc.com. You can find us on Facebook and on YouTube. We're more than happy to help you. Again, this is David Fulgham with Fulgham's Inc. Thank you for watching.